Hello and welcome to today's video about overhead miking. My name is Andy and I am here with Biodynamic. When close miking the snare, bass drum or toms, you usually want to capture single instruments. With overheads this is very different. They basically represent the whole drum kit. You have to decide if you want to use the overheads as a foundation for your whole drum mix or if you want them to mainly highlight the cymbals. If you are using a 3 mic setup with two overheads and a bass drum mic for example, you need the snare and toms to be present on the overheads. If you have close mics to support all individual drums, this is not as important. But like always, it comes down to your personal taste and how you like to set up your drum mix. First, let's talk about the most common overhead miking technique. The spaced pair. The two mics are placed above the kit with an equal distance from the snare drum. This is important to get the snare to be the center of your stereo image and to prevent phase incoherencies. The easiest way to measure the distance is by using a microphone cable. Changing the height of the mics and placing them further away from the center of your kit gives you the option to manipulate the stereo image, the amount of room you capture and the relation between drums and cymbals. The mics we use here are small diaphragm condenser MC930s. If you're looking for a more inexpensive alternative, the TGI-53 also works great. Both are available as matched stereo pairs. Here are some examples of different heights and positions. When choosing the position of your overhead mics, also keep in mind that the further away the mics are, the more they will capture what's going on in the room. So when you're on a loud stage for example, placing the mics closer to the kit will help separate it from the noise around the drums. Now let's stick with the spaced pair for a minute and check out two different microphone models. It is most common to use condenser mics as overheads. Their wide frequency response and especially their strength in high frequencies help to capture the bright symbols, but also deliver a nice image of the whole kit. In this case, we used the MC930. This cardioid small diaphragm condenser mic works great as an overhead and its polar pattern helps to get a focused sound without too much bleed from the room. If you want less sharp high frequencies and are looking for more of a vintage mid-range focused sound, ribbon mics are a great choice. Here we are using the hypercardioid M160. This is what these two mic models sound like in the same spaced pair configuration. The second most common overhead miking technique is the XY configuration. Two microphones are placed close together in a 90 degree spread. In our case we place the mics above the drummer, but you could also record the kit from the front. Once again the height of the mics will change how direct the drums and cymbals sound. The two microphone capsules being so close together result in a great phase coherency between both signals. But also, because of the small distance between the mics, the stereo image is rather narrow compared to the spaced pair. Here are the MC930 and the M160, both placed in an XY pattern. The third miking technique I want to show you is the Glyn Johns method. One of the mics is placed above the kit, the other one is placed a lot lower, aiming at the center of the drum set from behind the floor tom. Just as with the spaced pair before, both mics are at an equal distance from the snare drum. You can once again use a mic cable to measure that distance. What I especially like about this technique is that you get a great image of the whole kit, not just the cymbals. Usually the floor tom is a little weak on the overheads, but with this technique, due to the mic coming in from the side, this is not an issue. If you're looking for a great way to capture a whole kit with just three or four mics, 
definitely consider trying the Glyn Johns method. Enough talking, let's listen to both mics in this configuration. Now that you've heard those three miking options, which one do you like the most and what are your favorite overhead mics? Let us know in the comments and have fun experimenting with those techniques yourself.